Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Kenmore Spot Cleaner for carpet. It's called the Spotlight. It retails for $127 on Amazon. I'm gonna be also doing a comparison. So I'm gonna do a detailed video with this one and then I'll do a comparison with the Bissell Little Green and the Hoover Spot Cleaner. So I've been seeing this one show up again. It's on, I got it off of Amazon. It's number one new release. Okay, so here's everything that comes in the box. It does come with some solution. It comes with a, a larger head. And I've got the smaller cleaning head on the actual machine right now. Okay, so we've got a dirty water tank and our solution tank over here. So the dirty water tank, there's a handle. You just lift it up. It just pulls straight up. And then there's this cover release. It's on a hinge. I like that it's on a hinge so that you can clean and empty out the dirty water very easy. Put it back, close that, and just slide it down. Over here is the clean water tank. So you're simply just going to lift it up. It's got this hinged lid. You're gonna fill it up with water right here. It's got a place, so we're gonna put for small messes or large messes, it shows us how much water to put in. So inside the tank, there's a little suction tube that comes over to this point, and that's how the water, the solution gets into the machine right there. So we're just simply gonna slide this on. Here's our switch right here to turn it on and off. When you turn it on, the switch is down. To turn it off, it pops up. It's got a very nice flexible hose that wraps around the machine. When we push the button, solution's gonna come out. It's got a nice brush. I like that we can take this all apart. So press this down, this comes out so that you can clean that suction area, get that nice and clean. Okay, so around back, we got the electrical cord. It is 20 inches or 20 feet long. And when you wanna take it off, you can just undo one of these sides and that way it can come off very easy. Okay, so here's what the bottom of the machine looks like. It's got this little access panel, but it doesn't really tell us in the book what that's for. And I don't really see much access other than this hose, but nothing can come apart. So underneath the solution tank is where you find your serial number. And it says it's 60 Hertz, 120 volts AC, seven amps. And over here on the dirty water side, so sometimes you might have to clean some hair off of this little screen right here. Okay, so we're gonna fill up the solution tank. So this solution that comes with it is concentrated. So on the back, the directions are really small but it says for small jobs, two capfuls, and for large jobs, add five capfuls. You know, so that cap is not very big. So what they're talking about is, if you're gonna fill it up to the small area, you put two capfuls. If you fill it up with water to here, you put five capfuls. So let's go put some water in it first and then put our solution in it. If you put your solution in first and then put your water, it could uh, bubble up and over. So I just did the math on this. That cap holds one tablespoon or a half an ounce. So if you've got another type of solution, you're gonna put one ounce if you're doing a small job or three ounces, you know, two and a half ounces, like three, three ounces for a large mess. Okay, so I added the solution in the water. It's ready to go. Let's go put some stains on some carpet and see how well it does. Okay, so on the Kenmore, I'm gonna turn it on for the first time. Sometimes these spot cleaners can be hard to prime. I'm gonna see how long it takes for solution to come out this when I turn it on. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay. I like that it didn't take any priming. It had a really good stream and it started flowing solution right away. That's a very good feature. So now let's go see how it cleans. Okay, so I got some chocolate some ketchup and some spilt milk. So we're simply gonna turn the machine on. Here's the spray pattern. It's got a really strong spray pattern. Let's do the milk first. So it's doing a good job with the milk. It's got really good suction, but I like that it puts a lot of solution down. Let's go over to the ketchup. Now with this brush, I can really scrub. And I'm putting solution down the entire time. Yeah, it did a good job. Let's go to the chocolate now. This will take a little bit of scrubbing, but I'm putting solution down the entire time. It's doing a good job with the chocolate, too. We can see the dirty water going in the dirty water tank. Again, there's the spray pattern. 
it fans out nice and wide. I can really dry the carpet now. I'm not spraying anything. I'm just trying to dry it out. And it is still sucking liquid out. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off. That did a really, really good job on these stains. I felt like it had a good suction. The spray pattern was just right. It came out to the edges of that. And again, being able to scrub on it worked really well. Okay, so this will also work on furniture and you can also use it on your car. So here I got a piece of furniture. Let's spray it. Yeah, it does a good job. You can use this on a couch, a chair. You can really scrub on it. So yeah, it does a good job. Okay, so we got quite a bit of solution left. We got quite a bit of room left in the dirty water tank. Let's go ahead and lift the dirty water tank up and go empty it. Yeah, that did a good job. Okay, so let's say we want to empty it. You got to open this up, lift that up, and then you're just going to have to pour it out. But then I like being able that you can get in there and you can actually put your hand in there and scrub that and rinse it out. Okay, so this is a very powerful cleaner. You've got lots of room to do lots of work with the solution tank, a dirty water tank. It wasn't super noisy, but I felt like it had a lot of suction. Again, I can take this all apart if I need to clean it, but it felt good, did a good job. I'm very happy with this Kenmore Spot Cleaner. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.